Good afternoon, everybody. It's Malcolm Watson here coming from Warfield in Berkshire in the UK. A little earlier because uh, we're having some work done in the house and I just thought uh, I don't want to have drills and hammers and so on uh, interrupting my uh, live. So I've come a little bit earlier today. So apologies for that. And uh, if you're watching live and I, I guess you if you just come on, it'd be great. Um, please let me know. If you're watching on replay, please let me know. And if you're watching for the first time, please tell me so I can welcome you because I'm very grateful for everybody's support and attention whenever that is. That That is so uh, appreciative. I really do um, enjoy your company. So today my question is, do you have what it takes? Do you have what it takes? So have you ever felt I'm not sure I can do this. Well, if you have, hopefully the couple of stories I'm going to tell you and the points I'm going to make will help with your uh, confidence boost, which is what we're here to do. We're all positive and we're all uh, self-belief. It's so important. So do you have what it takes? In other words, do you have what it takes to be successful? Do you want to be successful? Do you want to succeed? Well, of course you do. And you do have what it takes. And do you want to know the secret? It's not really a secret. But the point is, if you follow successful people and do what they do, you will be successful yourself. I've said this so many times. Don't reinvent the wheel. Don't start all over again. Just follow successful people. There's a reason they are successful. They are successful because they're doing the right things. And what you want to do is do the right things in the right way, and it will be successful. And today I'm going to illustrate that to you. Remember, quick fixes don't work. If something seems too good to be true, I'm sure it will be. And that's what you need to do. You need to be able to say, um, it's too quick. It's not right. Uh, so a quick fix doesn't work. It takes time, persistence, consistency and hard work. That's what every business is about. And if you don't put that in, you won't get success. And if you do put it in, you are more likely to get success. So the good news is quick fixes don't work. The bad news is you have to put in the hours, you have to put in the days, you have to put in the weeks, you have to put in the months, you have to put in the years and be consistent and do what is right. Follow those successful people. So what I want to do uh, today is to give you two stories to illustrate uh, the point I'm making about being successful. Remember, facts tell, stories sell. So the first one is called Three Feet from Success. And you, you may have heard me tell this story before. But back in the day when there was uh, a gold mines, uh, there was a prospector who found a rich vein of gold. And he dug it out and he dug it out and he got to a point where it stopped. So he kept on and look, looking, no luck. The vein seemed to run out. He went to the left, he went to the right, he went straight on but it seemed to have run out. So he thought, oh, well, that's it. So he sold the, the mine to a scrap metal person. Now you'd think, person, no. Well, he didn't, but he knew someone who did. And what he got in was a mining expert. And that mining expert uh, started to look, and sure enough, three feet from where the other person had given up, there was a rich vein, even richer vein than they'd had previously. So the scrap metal merchant made a fortune. He, he became a very, very rich man. But the, the moral of this story, the point of this story, isn't about the scrap metal merchant. It's about the guy who gave up because he heard what happened. And he made a pledge to himself that he would never give up again he would keep on keeping on he would keep on going and he relaunched himself as an insurance salesman and he became the richest insurance salesman of his generation because he'd learned his lesson and the way we learn is from failures the way we learn is from our mistakes 
Now, if you repeat them, that's a choice. Uh, but if you learn from them and think, I won't do that again, but I'll do this, you will progress. And that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. It's keeping going, keeping going when you can. And that's the point. We learn from our mistakes. This guy learned and he became rich from it. Three feet from success. And the next part of being successful, if you follow successful people, is you never take no as a final no. You never take it as an answer. People will have said that to you before. I was told when I first started in internet marketing, no is just the first stage of asking for more information. And maybe that's true. But this story illustrates, uh, again, persistence and not uh, say, taking no as an answer. And it's a story, again, back in the day in America of a young black single mother who needed some money to buy food for her and her child. So she sent her child to the rich white employer who lived nearby. The young girl was really scared. You can imagine it. She's only a little girl, maybe four or five, going to this white, powerful man who, who basically held the future of his, her family in his hand. And he was a fearsome employer and everyone was scared of him. His reputation went before him. But the mother needed the money. So she knocked on the door, the man came and she said, my mama needs some money. My mother needs some money. Please give us some. And he said, go away. Slam the door in her face. And he looked through the window a few moments later and the girl was still stood there. So he opened the door and said, if you don't go away, I'm going to take a switch to you. I'll beat you. Now go away and slam the door. He walked away and one of the employers who was watching uh, he said, what are you looking at? And he said, that little girl is still there. So this man stormed to the door, opened the door, was going to rush at her and expected the little girl to back off. But she didn't. She walked up to him and faced him and said, my mother needs that money now. Please give it to her. And the guy was so taken aback. He stopped. He went back in the house, he got some money out of his pocket and he gave her the money and she said thank you and walked away and she had achieved what she wanted. Now that young man who was watching, just as in the three feet from the, the, the real story about this is that young man was watching and he'd never seen his employer give in to anybody, let alone a little black girl. And he learned that lesson and he said later on he learned the lesson of never taking no as an answer keep on keep being persistent keep being uh, inquisitive what you need to find out is their why what is it that makes them tick what are they looking for what do they need so that you can answer that need that little girl needed to go back with the money she got it she went back to her mother and they could get some food and this guy who was watching later on again um, became a very successful person and he said in his memoirs many years later it was that little girl who changed his life who turned his life around because he realized if you kept on and you found out why you could actually help the person. And that's a really important uh, lesson to learn. It, remember, it's not what you think you can do for people. It's what they think you can do for them. And that's the important, the why. So again, that guy was determined he would never do it. Never take no for an answer. So you find out the person's why. So the two stories today about being successful. One is uh, don't give up. Uh, be persistent. Get expert help if you need it. Find out the answer, but keep on going three feet from success. And the other story is don't take no for an answer. Find the why. The little girl, her why was she needed money to survive, basically. And that was stronger than the fear of this employer who did it. So, again, don't take no for an answer. So 
my, my message today is follow successful people, do what they do and pass it on to other people. Remember, keep on going three feet from success. Don't take no as a final answer. Find out the why. Now, we can all do that, can't we? So let's do it. You start today and it's the first star step on a journey of success. Being successful is following people who are successful, learning from them and implementing it in your own way. Not being a clone, being yourself, but just doing what successful people do. And that will make you successful. Begin today your first steps towards success. And I wish you every success on that journey. So that's it from me today. Malcolm Watson, One for One Gold from Berkshire in the UK. If you find this useful, please share it, uh, because by sharing, as I said before, passing it on, paying it forward, this is how we learn. This is how we learn. So help other people, and by helping other people, you help yourself. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry the time frame was slightly different today, but at least you didn't have all the noise in the background. You could just hear me, and I hope it's been helpful and useful to you. Uh, I'll be here same time next week, a little bit later, 12.30 British summer time on a Wednesday for my Facebook Live. Until then, as always, I say, take care, have a successful week, look after those who you love and you care about and help everybody that you can, and that will help you become successful. Speak to you again soon.